got Anthony and Marvin here following a 3 0 win against Run Cornland. It's a good run out for you today uh, going into next season, well, this season's first game uh, in the FA Cup against Chase Town. How did you find it out there today, Marbs? Yeah, I think uh, we've done okay in spells. We've scored three goals. It's not me coming up here being big headed or anything. We have to be better. Uh, coming off a 3 0 win, I know it sounds stupid, but we do. I mean, the first 20, 25 minutes, we, we, were, we weren't good enough. We weren't. We went at the races after what we did on Wednesday night, which also we have to bring into account that Wednesday we worked really hard um, against a, a professional side where where they had the ball for the majority of the game, so we were constantly running. So I just think the first 20, 25 minutes we, we were all over the slot. We were a little bit we were sloppy, we were lethargic, we were slow to second balls. Then we picked ourselves up after that and we did okay, yeah, we did well. And with you personally, you've got a, an assist and a goal as well. How are you feeling within yourself? Getting better, I feel I've got better every game. You know, the other games I've played, I've been coming off 18, 18, you no know, sloppy first touch all over the place. I'm still nowhere near where we want to be, but that's not just me, that's the whole team. Um, it's nice getting an assist, you know, the goal the goal's a lucky one. It's, it, it, it is what it is, it's another. But I want the luck week, week before the season. I'll take them, I'll take goals like that every, every single week. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm pleased with myself. Probably fitter than I've been all the last season. No niggles, no injuries. Uh, long may that continue. Yeah, definitely. You've said we've done a few podcasts before. You say you, this season under Scott, you want to get fit and you want to be reaching the heights that you have previously for kids go. So, what are you personally hoping for? Is it in terms of hitting 15, 20 goals, or just as many goals as you can? Just as many goals as you can. As a forward, always aim for 20 first, first and foremost. Then once it hit 20, it goes from there. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I also have to understand my game's different. I have to hold up play, bring others into it. You know, I've got an assist today, which is another another point to my game, which which I feel I've got. So it, it's not just what I'm saying. It's not just about me. If I bring if I bring more to the team by giving others goals and offering the chance of being that battering ram, then that's what it is. It's about the team. It's not about Melbourne. And if that's if we're going to do anything this season, I have to look at it that way. And obviously, as the Katsu have made 11 new additions to the squad, how is everyone settling in? How's the morale? Obviously, you've known some of them before anyway. Some have come back, like obviously yeah, your old yeah, friend Carl yeah. Diskin yeah. and a couple of others. How's, how's the whole squad morale been? Because in pre-season, it's, it, it's battles. It's looked brilliant. I think you can tell uh, by games like tonight, today, uh, Wednesday against Crew, is it's go we're going to be a team. Um, we won't get outworked. Uh, <laughs> All we've done in pre-season is run. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I've hated it, I've absolutely hated it, but it, it's going to be worth it because you can tell in games like this we were, we were still pressing from you know, minute one to, to 90, all those who come, on, come, on, come off the subs bench as well, and that, that's what it's going to be, we're going to have to be a strong team and that's, that comes down to the morale of the lads at the end of the day, that we're all going to work hard for each other, they're all mates, um, we haven't probably had that for a long time. Um, and I hopefully, obviously, you lot can see on the sideline as well that everyone is working hard for each other, and, it, and it's that simple. That's because we all get on, we all hack each mm. other. Otherwise, that wouldn't happen. So there's no arguing, there's been no, or, you know, banter like there is in every dressing room. But the main thing is, is obviously on my side as well, there's been no arguing whatsoever. No one's caned each other, no one's got each other's back, and like Scott's instilled that from the first session and the first game, and said we don't do that and put people in the place and. It's working. Like, well, it, it means nothing now. And next week, pre-season's gone. Mm -hmm. Whether we've been unbeaten or not, doesn't mean a thing. Next mm -hmm. week is the one. Next week's where we want to get, get get the win. We need the club needs money after everything that's gone on. You know, we we need we owe it to ourselves as well because we've worked hard in pre-season. So we want to do it for ourselves also. Yeah, I was going to say it's a big one next week. The new campaign starts. Obviously, like you say, you are unbeaten. But against Chase Town, obviously, you brought a couple of the boys last season, including the manager, um, some of the players as well, into uh, this year's squad. The likes of Jake Lover and Spencer Gunnell, yeah. among others. How are you feeling going into that one? It's uh, we wanted another good FA Cup run. Obviously, unfortunately, a couple of years ago you were there when we got knocked up by Hartlepool. Maybe this year we could go one step further. Possibly, but I don't think we can look that too far ahead. Mm. It's the next game, and it's that simple. They're all cliches and all that, but they're up. The, it's it's true. Um, how we have to look at it, it's, I know I just said that about pre-season means nothing and all, I kind of contradict to myself. It is just another game really, how we have got to go into it because you can you can get that emotionally invested into one tie because it, Scott's old team, um, we've had players from them and all that kind of thing. You get that emotionally invested in the game also drains you, mentally, physically it can drain you. You can be as fit as you want but if you're emotionally Mostly attached to something, it drains you just as quick. So you go into it as just another game, and if we get our heads on, we play how we have been playing. It doesn't doesn't mean we have to be good on the ball. 
not whatsoever as you've seen today what's won us this game is what we've done off it mm -hmm. if we can do that every single week and match and beat sides off the ball we won't be too far off and the final one for me obviously the league season kicks off on the 19th of September with an away trip to Stocksbridge Port Steels in terms of the league season where do you want to be this season we've spoken a little bit about it before but we've what we've seen in pre-season or, or should we be looking at playoffs or do you just want to at the start take it one game at a time let's just take it one game at a time I think the problem is over the years and I've been myself included I'm one for that who has done take it one game at a time instead of saying playoffs winning the league and all that because you put too much pressure on yourself